guys, it's Mommy Tang. What's up, Tang Gang? Today, I have to eat very simple, only because <laughs> I had too much junk food last night. Baby, I don't want to. You don't want to do your hair, but your hair is always so nappy at the back. Do your hair. Yeah. Do your hair. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Can you please tell me your secret? What is your secret, baby? Baby, Pepita, what is your secret? Why are you so cute? Hello? Are you going to tell me your secret? Okay, she doesn't want to say. Whatever. Yeah, so I got to be really clean today. You know, for some of you, right? Don't want to go on a diet. I know I don't talk about diet too much here, or do I talk about diet here a lot? <laughs> if you want to lose weight, you gotta eat simple. People always say carb up, or people say like, you know, calorie count, and people say, and I do this, do that. Just eat simple. That's what you need to do. Eat simple. Eat lots of greens. Eat simple, and that's it. Have you seen this before? I'm sure you've seen this a lot. A lot. Every time you go to a supermarket where they have lettuce, I'm sure you've seen these a lot. What are they? <laughs> I forget the name of it. Collards. Collard, is it collard green? Collard green, collards, is that how you say it? These are organic colored, collards. <laughs> I can't pronounce it, okay? You know how I feel about you know how I am with pronouncing some stuff? Now, this is not an Asian leaf. People, Asian people don't really eat this. Do we? Do we eat it? The Koreans don't really eat it. Maybe they do in Korea, but I don't know. But I see this all the time in America, you know, in supermarkets. I always said to myself, how am I gonna eat this? They look healthy only because they're like so green and it's not even like light green, they're like dark green and like, Oh, and they're like hard, I don't know, for some reason, hard green stuff, I always think that they're healthy. <laughs> like broccoli and you know what I mean? What else is hard green? Asparagus, you know, stuff like that. And this is like hard, so I was like, this has to be somewhat healthy. Yes, so some of you, the viewers, that love to tell me what they're good at, please comment below, let me know what they're good, you know what I mean? Please let me know. But anyways, so. People juice this, okay? People chop it up and they make it, they make salads out of it. I've seen people um, shred this and put it in their pork, some sort of pork dish, like a meat dish, and they, they oil it up and whatever, okay? Today I'm about to show you how I eat this. Healthy, okay? Are you ready? I have a pot here, some water. You don't need too much water. One of these? What is that? Femur, I guess? Yeah, they make stuff like this. They make the one, the, the flower one, where you open up. You could use whatever. I just, I like this because it's easy to clean. And you were to steam these babies. That's pretty much it. Steam them, and while you steam them, just use your phone, call your mom. In fact, call somebody that you love. Maybe your mom, your dad, your aunt, somebody. Somebody you love, give them a call. Hi, what's up? Uh, just called you because I missed mommy. you. You know, they like that. Hi, mommy. Hi. Show them your baby. Oh, look. She has a bunny and a naked baby. <laughs> Papita's so silly. Mommy Tang, how long you cook this for? 
Well, when you open, right, you'll notice that they are very green now. See that? See that? They're very green. Okay, and then they're like little flimsy. And at the top, where the hardcore is at, if you could bite on it. <laughs> Sorry. And if they're cooked through, that means they're done. So the next thing you want to do is shock them when you take them out. Shock them meaning ice bath. Ice bath? Ice water. Fine, Mommy Tang. It helps them to stay green longer and it stops them from overcooking. You know, you don't want them to cook. You, know, you shock them. That's why it's called shock. Isn't there a song? Shock, shock, shock. No, no. <laughs> You're just gonna shock them really good, you know? Just flip them around. You could do this actually over cold water, running water, you know? And then you just kind of shock them. Give them a good massage with love. Okay, I think that's enough. And then what you want to do next is just do this. Don't squeeze too much, you know, just we're trying to get the water out. You know, just a little bit, tiny, tiny bit. Okay. And then you're just going to lay them straight somehow like so. Okay. That's the word. Let me say it. What are you gonna do with the leftover water? I don't know. Obviously, I'm not gonna drink it. Do whatever you want with it. Ask me. You guys always ask me weird questions all the time. That's pretty much it. This is the recipe. Yeah. The thing is, they taste amazing when they're cold. So you want to keep them in the refrigerator and when you're about to, I mean, right now it's pretty cool, you know, because I put, you know what I mean, maybe we shocked it with ice. So what you want to do is, you know, if, unless you could eat all this color, you know, yeah, if you could eat it, then yeah, eat it. But if you have some left over, when I make this, I make like three or four batches of, batches of collard greens, you know what I mean? So I could store this up in the refrigerator. If you're, especially if you're a busy person, you could store this up like so in a Ziploc bag or something. When you're ready, you take it out and then you eat it like so. Let's get to the mukbang. Do you remember our theme was had to eat simple, okay? Green, rice, some water. Somebody said to me, Mommy Tang, drinking ice water is not good. I'm sorry. I have mixed feelings about that. Maybe it's not really good for you, but it's so refreshing and it's good for the spirit. You know, oh, I drink it because of that factor. I, I don't know. Of course I have. Mother-in-law's kimchi. What is mommy saying without a kimchi, you know? Put water in here. Ooh, stinky, stinky kimchi. Ooh, let me drink this off. Guys, it's like drinking Sprite, kimchi Sprite. Also, I have some tangy fermented chili sauce by mother-in-law. Mm. It's pretty much gochujang with garlic and vinegar. Okay, that's what that is. <laughs> and also gochujang. Mother-in-law has gochujang, okay? Gochujang is Korean hot chili paste. If you can't find them, okay. Oh, this juice. Is that floating? You could look this up online, of course. I'm gonna put this lower away. I'm gonna put this up. You could definitely look this up online and um, you could buy if you don't have or you can't buy any of this gochujang sauce you could use miso paste for this okay if you don't like miso paste too plain you could put some garlic powder 
And yeah, you know, I have a recipe somewhere. I think I have it's called cabbage wrap. I think I made a recipe, so that's it. Green, you put rice. A little bit of gochujang. You just wrap it and you eat it. I gotta eat this kimchi stuff before it starts all floating around, you know? Lettuce wrap truly makes me happy. Any kind of green wrap. Somebody said to me, Mommy's saying, what's your favorite vegan food? I like anything. Wrap, lettuce wrap, cabbage wrap, collard green wrap. Oh, a little bit of too much sauce in there. Honey. Mommy. Please be careful. Mommy. Yeah. I love you. Mm-hmm. I love you, Mama. Mm. Mm. Mommy. Mm. You're telling me my boy. Tell me. Okay, Mommy? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mom. It's how I would fly with your makeup. This one If you like a little bit of bitterness of greens, you know how like arugula is a little bit of bitter? No? You will find this little bit of bitter as well. But if you if you really don't like the bitterness, then don't eat the end of it. Like right here, just eat the leaf right here. I don't know, maybe you could cut this off and then save it for something else or something, but I love bitter food. I do. So. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Telling you, simple. See how simple this is? Ooh. You know? That is so good. I'm only cutting it. I'm probably gonna dip it later and eat it. It's because I have a hard time chewing it. You know, it's so big. Some <laughs> good to If you guys have been following me on my recipe and you have go to try this. You know, if you don't want, you don't feel like the collard bean thing, try it with lettuce. You're gonna be like, holy, this is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked me, Mommy Tang, how do you juggle your life? How do you balance your life? You have four kids. You do YouTube. 
Seems like your house is clean. Yeah. You look like you have a life. How do you balance your life? Mama. You see what I just did? What was I doing? Let's see if somebody catch that. What did I just do? What did I just do, guys? Put some kimchi in here now. Please move. Thank you. You see what I did? What did I do? I took a break from chewing, eating, all this flavor. I took a break. Take a break with water. Mommy, see what happens when I drink water? My one, two, three. <sighs> you let it out. You breathe. <sighs> Chewing so much, working so much, doing other things. You know, once in a while you need to take a break for yourself. With water, with something simple. Don't do anything dramatic, crazy. Something simple. <sighs> you know? But I'm opposite. I'm all the way around, mommy thing. I'm always relaxed. I'm always too lazy. I don't know what to do. Well, if you're always lazy, then once in a while, go out for a jog, you know? Go out, do something useful, you know? And then you appreciate, you're going to appreciate simple things. Something that's missing in your life. You know? That's what balance is all about. Finding what you need and replace it with what you need ever so often. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. You know, that's one tip for you. First, you need to find out what you need to do in your life. Like, if you're a mom, then be a good mom. If you are, I don't know, a working mom, then could be a good working mom, you know? If you're trying to lose weight, then exercise, eat well, do all that stuff, you know what I mean? But once in a while, take a break. And say, ah. that's how you balance out your life. This morning I got a comment from one of you so mommy turn This boy that I know he's messing with me I tried to avoid him, but I can't because he's always messing with me. How do I make him to stop? You can't. Because you love the game. The reason he's doing that to you because you love it. You love it, the game that he's playing with you. So if you want to stop, then simply detach yourself from there. And don't love the stuff that he does to you. You know? If a boy or guy or girl or whatever plays a game that you hate, 
He's not going to do it because you know he, he knows you don't, you don't like it. The reason he does it to you is because he knows that you like it. But I don't like it. I get hurt. Some people like things that they, they know it's not good for them. You know what I mean? Smoking, for example. They love smoking. They know it's not good for them. I got another comment saying, okay, I got in a fight with my friend, my best friend. I said something to her, I shouldn't have. She got so mad that she, she punched me and she yanked my hair. We got into a fight physically. I'm at home now, I regret. I regret, I miss her, what do I do? For some odd reason, people think it's okay to say something mean, but if somebody hits you, then it's something like, whoa, they're bad, they hit you, you know what I mean? But I think <coughs> you could be cruel in both ways. You could really kill someone's soul by, being, by saying something. You could. You know, sometimes it's better for them to just slap you once than for them to just say stuff to you for many, many years or just make them feel bad, make them feel down. And oh. what I'm trying to say is maybe she crossed the line of punching you, but she probably did it is because she doesn't know how to get you back by talking. Maybe you're better at that. Maybe you could really kill her silently with your words, you know? But maybe physically you don't have to because you could do it with this. Maybe she couldn't, maybe she can't get to you with this. So she decided, you know, I'm just gonna punch the crap out of you. You know what I mean? So at this point, you need to tell her because I guess you're really good with words, right? So you need to tell her why you said it. Don't just say sorry. Go and tell her why you did it and how you were hurt when she did it or maybe you don't even tell her that yeah don't tell her just tell her your feeling don't tell her you hit me and just say you're sorry that you did it and that you want to make up okay and then hopefully we could come closer that way you know and then next time around make sure you don't cross that line you know if you don't cross the line she's not going to cross hers My dad always said, the tongue is like the worst, worst, lethal weapon to have if you don't use it well. Does that make sense? He usually says that in Korean, so I don't even know if I translate that well, but you could do very, very bad harm with your tongue, you know? So... That's my advice for you. Just tell her that you're sorry. I'm sure if you tell her and she still loves you, then she'll tell you she's sorry too. And if she doesn't, then maybe you guys are not meant to be. You know, what can you do? You try from your end. Mm. Mm. You know what I usually say, right? And the rice is done, the mukbang is done. Well, the rice is not done, but I am so full. If I eat more, I feel like I'm, I have to go to bed, you know, like lie down and rest from eating. If you ever eat so much that like you need to rest. I have so much more. And this is just the beginning of my day, so I gotta... I can't do that, you know? Anyways. That was my mukbang for you today. Remember, these, save it in the refrigerator and eat it the next day. Okay? Mm, these are good. Mm.
I thought this was the bitter part. I don't think this is the bitter part. I think the leaf is the better part. Wait, let me see. I might be totally wrong about the bitter part now. Let me see. This is the sweet part, y'all. This is the sweet part. The end, right here. That's the bitter part. Okay, sometimes I give you wrong information. <laughs> I said, if you think it's too bitter, then chop this off and eat the top. Meanwhile, the top was the bitter part and the bottom was the sweet part. <sighs> what is going on here? Have I had this before? Can I try that? I, I try have that, had this mommy? before. Can I try that? So why are you giving all your wrong information? I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm wrong. I can't be right all the time. I'm no god. No, I I want I want it too. I want that. Wait. <laughs> Ow! You want some more of this? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. You know what we say? Peppy likes it. It's good. <laughs> you gotta eat a little bit more because it's gonna be spicy for you. A little bit more green. Here. A little bit more. Okay. <laughs> Of course, you could eat it like that, how she ate it. Alright, hey, where's my chocolate? Alright, alright, last bite. I'm done. It's one of those things that you can't stop eating, you know what I mean? You need to get up and walk away from it. I'll see you later.